This week on Outdoor Bound TV. Grab your ice auger, tip-ups, and jig poles, because we begin our first in a series of incredible ice fishing destinations across Canada. On this week's show, Manitoba is our focus, as we travel north of Winnipeg to Wakusco Falls, Manitoba. This area of the province is famous for great open water walleye action, but you won't believe what also comes through the ice. What a fish. Early bird gets the worm. That's what you come up here for. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Mission by Matthews and Vortex Optics. This is my life. The Weekend Warrior. No more production lines or deadlines. This is why I work five days a week. I need speed, power, precision. I expect no less than the best. This is my best. This is my chance. This is my mission. Simple, efficient, powerful. Mission by Matthews. Don't let this hunt be your last. The tree clamp by Safe Tree Outdoors is as easy as set, snap, and strap. Simply secure a tree clamp to any hang on stand. Set it, snap it, and strap it in place. The tree clamp is the safest, easiest way to hang any stand. Set, snap, and strap. Order your tree clamp at safetreeoutdoors.com. The new Acme Rattlemaster has a built-in echo chamber with a brass rattle that calls fish in. The body's solid brass too and won't bend or dull, and reflects fish attracting light all over the water column. This one-two punch of sight and sound means you drill less holes because fish come to you. Jig it, rip it, or shake it for crappie, walleye, northern salmon, or trout, and experience multi-species action with just one bait. Hi everyone, welcome to Outdoor Bound TV, I'm Kurt Walbeck. You know, Canada has long been a summer destination for walleye and northern pike fishing trips for many fishermen across the Midwest. Well, on this week's show, we start a four-part series of finding world-class ice fishing destinations across Canada. First up, Wakusco Falls, Manitoba. Hey folks, it's Brian Bogdan from Wakusco Falls Lodge here. We're set up looking for some walleye right now on Wakusco Lake. Uh, Wakusco Falls Lodge is located in the northern part of, of Manitoba, or still accessible via, via road. Um, we're about seven hours north of Winnipeg, or two hours east of Flin Flon. It's uh, mid-March right now, and we're just feeding a, we're fishing in a feeder bay, or feeder creek. We're looking for some staging walleye here on in one of the feeder bays and, and it's stained water here so we're running uh, lures that are a little bit more bright colors and UV colors try, 
trying to get them to see from a little further away than, than the normal in the normal gin clear water that we have, but we're less than 16 inches visibility here, which which isn't ideal for for uh, them seeing your baits from a long ways away. So you've got to be real critical with your with having bait on there so they can smell as well as anything with sound, rattle baits, or uh, or like we said, anything with glow colors or something vibrant so that they can see it and pick you up. Get him right up to the top of the hole here. It's not all that big a one. Nice job. I see the see him come up to the bait there and and uh, come right after the chicken skin on that little jig and just inhale the thing. He did. Smaller than average around here. We all we'll catch something bigger than that, I'm sure. Keep it down there. Okay. In the northwest corner of Manitoba, we're under what's called high quality management. Uh, we're allowed four walleye that are under 55 centimeters, which is just under 22 inches. You're also allowed four pike under 75 centimeters, which is just under 30 inches, as well as you're allowed the one lake trout that's under 65 centimeters, which is just under 26 inches. And that whole thing has come about in the early 2000s and it's saved our fishery from either collapse, but more importantly, it's it's really helped our year classes continually show up. We have all our year classes from, from three, two, one years old, all the way up to 13, 14 years old on our walleye. And uh, it's it's definitely become a, a big drawing card to this part of the province, not just for the fishery, but also for fish enhancement for other parts of the province that are looking towards us in order to make changes for themselves as well. Well, we're 11 feet of water, so it doesn't take long to get them coming up. Nice gold. Looking for something a little bigger still, but good representative of what we've got here to offer. Nice gold walleye. Another one for the frying pan, that's always important as well. We want to make sure you're always good and, good and full whenever you come up here. Lose, or gaining weight's not a bad thing when you come up. You have all the time in the world after that to lose it. Taking some line out. Bigger than the first one I got. Oh yeah, he's got a little more weight to him. Good job. Yeah, sweet. One for the frying pan? Yeah, certainly. Absolutely. Let's eat some fish, huh? Yeah. I will see for the few minutes we've been here in Manitoba, this is one awesome place. Sunshine, fishing walleyes. Ah, take it. I got one down there. Yeah, one down there. Yeah, it looks like one's coming up off the bottom here right now. Just a light, easy jig action. And they're hitting it fairly good when they hit it. It's not like, I wonder if I got a bite. I think we've actually been fishing all of about 10 minutes here. I've caught two of them already. And I got another one down there right now. They always come after you when you're not ready for them. That's a good one. Oh, you should be getting close. There he is. Eh? Oh, nice fish. Nice there fish. Look at <laughs> that's he a just beauty. inhaled that thing. 27 inch or probably. Thick, thick 27. Maybe even a little longer than that. Yeah. Good job, man. Man. My first Manitoba walleye. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that thing. <laughs> awesome. awesome. We, we basically pulled up here literally 20 minutes ago. Um, we've been in Manitoba for all of about three hours. We're back out on the lake here and uh, didn't really know what to expect. You know, you hear all the, hear all the stories and, and all the good stuff. Um, and here we are. This is my first, first Manitoba walleye and it's going gonna, it's gonna to touch it's got to be a solid 27 inches at least. Um, and these fish we've been marking, we started marking them as soon as we got here. Um, and of course everybody else is catching fish and I'm sitting here watching it. 
I guess I'm just saving the best for last. Um, you know, fished out in Canada my whole life. First time ever in Manitoba fishing walleyes, and I tell you what, for the first 20 minutes, this is pretty impressive. I mean, look at that fish. Unbelievable. Well, our ice fishing season begins earlier than most. Uh, majority of years we're able to get on the ice by middle of November, and it carries on right through to the end of April. Our fishing season's only closed from May 1st to our long weekend in May, which is your, a week before your Memorial Day weekend in the States. And so we have literally about close to five to six months of ice fishing access. Uh, our main species that we target are lake trout, walleye, northern pike, perch, burbot, whitefish, and tulipy. Uh, but the big th three are pike, walleye, and lake trout. That's where we, we put most of our time in, but it's always fun to go for something different if you've never done that, especially burbot. Uh, and they're also a bite that's later at night, so you don't have to worry about all your daylight hours going to a species that you've never caught before. There we go. All right there. Boy, he just came off the bottom and smacked this thing. Oh, oh. <laughs> right at the hole. <laughs> I saw him on my mark him for just a little bit and he came up and he hit my spoon and just nailed it and took off. At first I thought it wasn't a big fish and then he took off and went on a run. And I brought him back up to the hole and you know, Brian, our host here at Wacusco Falls Lodge warned me, he said, when you get to the bottom of the hole, take your time. Well, I didn't do that. And he's down there somewhere, but that's all right. Here in Manitoba, there's plenty of them under the ice. So we'll get back down and see if we can find another one. Don't go away. We'll be right back after these messages. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Real Deal Mineral and HHA Sports. two seeds. The results speak for themselves. Proving yet again that the best never rest, Otter introduces Otter Thermal Tech, the proprietary full thermal shell found on every 2015 Otter shelter. Beginning with the all-new XDH hub shelters and the all-new lightweight one-man XT hideout, on up to the ever-popular XT and XT Pro Series shelters that have earned a near-legendary reputation for unmatched toughness and durability. At Otter, we know stopping at good enough is way overrated. This ice season, see for yourself how the best just keep getting better. When winter weather makes driving difficult, fight back with a newer pre-owned vehicle from Colby Chrysler. During our big finish sales event, Colby Chrysler Center is offering the highest trading values and 0% interest on select new vehicles. It's just a short drive to Colby to check out our new and used selection of four-wheel drive vehicles to help you tackle winter's toughest driving conditions. Welcome home to Colby Chrysler. Room Motors has been serving Central Wisconsin since 1947 and offers a full line of quality Kubota tractors, mowers, and RTVs. Let the knowledgeable staff at Rue Motors help you select the best Kubota RTV for you and your family. From weekend food plot maintenance to projects around your yard, you can count on Rue Motors for all your quality Kubota products at both convenient locations. Rue Motors, take the short drive up Highway 45 in Anigo and Burnhamwood. You know, each year we receive thousands of photos from our viewers of animals that you've harvested and fish that you've caught. And we'd love to share them with you here on the show. All you have to do to be eligible to win is email us your photo or share it with us on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. And this year you can win some great prizes once again just for sending us your photos. Prizes include an assortment of musky lures from Nasebaits, a Yeti cooler from Petrick Service Station, a trip for two aboard the Grand Illusion 2 charter boat on Lake Michigan, and this year's grand prize, a four-day, three-night fishing vacation at Sunset Cove Resort on Lake of the Woods, Ontario. And remember, all you have to do to be eligible to win is send us your photo with your name and your hometown. 
Here are this week's Outdoor Bound TV viewer photos. So all I'm doing is putting on a, breaking off a minnow head, and putting this on a PK Flutterfish. It's Fire Tiger Glow. And I'm seeing a fish mark down there right now. So if everything works right, I should have a fish in T minus five seconds. sand a bit. Oh, <laughs> and I missed him. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Oh, he's out still. <laughs> oh, see, I guide lots of the time, so I don't get much chance to actually do this, you see. So I'm allowed a few mistakes here and there. But uh, this is the crucial part. I already got with the bottom of the hole there. So many people try to force them. And myself included, you, you just got to play that patience game and just wait for them to make their f final move to commit coming up and just like that, catch yourself a nice walleye. Ron hooked up on a fish here and it was bulldogging them pretty hard and unfortunately it's not a monster walleye but we're having trouble getting its head started here. Yeah, he's stuck. He's uh... I can feel it's stuck. Okay, so. here he comes, here he comes. Here he comes. Here he comes. Okay. <laughs> Tim and I are fishing about 30 feet apart here, and uh, I marked the big fish on the graph, and he grabbed, grabbed the bait, took off. 10 seconds later, it got off, and put, put the slender spoon back down, grabbed it again, and the fight was on. And you can see it's, oh, I don't know, that's a 20 pound northern, isn't yeah, it? That's a 20 pound northern for sure. 20 pound, 22, 23 pounds. Maybe something like 41 that. 41 inches, I'm gonna guess. Yeah, fishing. We'll get a measurement on them. And All right, that would be great. Big, gabby girth on them, and we'll. Uh, we get here, we drop down, we start picking up fish. I had one on in, in the hole the first time, I, within 30 seconds, I had a big fish on for just a second or so. And then we've been picking through them. I caught two northerns, and uh, and Tim's got a couple of walleyes, and and uh, Brian, our outfitter, he's caught a, a fish or two, and Mike's got a nice walleye. So I mean, what else can you ask for? It's fantastic. With Cusco Lake, and uh, we just caught a big northern. And we're going to put this uh, old girl back in the water. That's an old fish, and we want to be very careful with it. And there she goes. Wiggle, wiggle. Come on, girl. Barely fitting down a 10 inch hole, and it's gone. Congratulations. <laughs> Congrats, that's a beauty fish. That's a gorgeous fish. You had a good fight on that, oh, too. Oh, man, I guess so, huh? Yeah. It's like I was hooked to the bottom. Yeah. <laughs> we were all wondering. It's all we were good. all wondering. Oh, well, that was fun. Well, let's get back and get another one. All right, let's try let's to catch some different on. species. Well, while we're filming a pike, a walleye hit and just about lost the rod. Put another nice 20 inch walleye. Good for another feed. We just about got enough. They're pretty soon we'll just be releasing everything we catch from here on in and, and uh, nothing beats fresh walleye out of cold water. Especially when you are in Northern Manitoba. All right, so we got a little bit of mayhem with fish on here and there and I came back and just banged it off bottom, banged some sand, and it didn't take long. Fish came up, moved up to it, and bang. It feels a little heavier, but uh, I haven't really moved him very much yet. But that doesn't mean that he's not foul hooked. Just a little bit more of a run here. I'm gonna clean this out a little bit for you. Should be 
getting close. I can feel his head. This is where you really don't want to push it. Once you get him near that hole, you just want to wait for him to commit to coming up that hole if you try to force him. Nice That's a nice walleye. walleye. Nice chunky walleye. This is probably close to an eight and a half pound walleye, maybe even a touch heavier, but good heavy girth on her. Her skin's already getting tight. And in this water, in the shallow water, you don't get much time to, to really play them out. So they show their anger all the time, throwing up that fin for you. So it's nice golden color on them. Big solid fish. And if you notice, it's a smaller head on these fish. So these are actually, uh, on this body of water, the government's done some test net studies and these fish grow phenomenal rates on this lake. There's so much forage. It's, it's a eutrophic lake, but in the Precambrian Shields. And, the right genetics and the right food, you get to grow big girls like this. And just like high quality management, these fish must be released. So try to take due care so everybody else gets a chance at her and away she goes. Time to get another one. There's more down here, that's for sure. And there's lots of light left. Four good hours of fishing still. That's a part of beauty of March Madness and April Madness up here in Northern Manitoba. All right, here we are fishing in Northern Manitoba. And uh, I just switched and put on a uh, fish eye and uh, got a nice walleye here. Nice yeah. one. Probably 22 inches, something like that. Nice fish, healthy fish, good coloration, fat fish. Nothing to it. God. Another fine walleye. I mean, these things are, look at how healthy the fish are. I mean, it's just incredible on uh, Wakusco Lake, Manitoba. They're uh, picking them up, they're picking the spoons up. Um, PK spoons, I'm fishing with a, with a slender spoon and just tipping them with a minnow head. And uh, they're picking it up right off the very back end here. Uh, Brian's put us on the fish here. and It's been a great afternoon, first day out here. So definitely can't complain. We'll let him go. Another 20 pounder. Look at you got him wedged in the whole side. I said he's stuck. <laughs> sure. You just want get him to get, out of there. You just want me to get my hands full. <laughs> Good job. Well, look at you didn't even have him hooked. Hey. You snared him. I got him. <laughs> what a gorgeous day to fish. Beautiful day. Cusco Lake. Sat there and watched this big, big fat mark for probably, I don't know how many minutes. And, uh, well, maybe not minutes, but that thing just it chased up and chased down. And finally, he, uh, he come up and took it. And when he took it, he took it hard. Kind of played a little lake trunk trick on him. He started reeling up a little bit. And as soon as it, here he comes, there he is. And as soon as he started coming in, he just come up and took it. Another fine Costco walleye. And uh, come in on a slender spoon. Um, I kind of cheated, I put two minnows on it. Another beautiful fish. It's just getting to the end of the day and what a day it's been, or half a day. I mean, it's, it's been incredible. There's, I mean, it doesn't really get any better than this. You come up here and you, you fly in in the morning you're fishing in an hour and we've already got 29, 26s and numbers of them like this. So Brian put us on the fish right away. We're into them and I think we might just get into a good evening bite here. So we'll let this guy go and let him grow a little bit. He'll be a trophy here for one of these days. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Brew Pub Pizza and Nays Baits. 
Brew Pub Pizza is specifically designed with the hungry in mind. It's big, it's bold, and it's outrageously delicious. Brew Pub Lata Matza Pizza is made with your favorite premium meats and veggies topped with over a half pound of real Wisconsin mozzarella cheese. When you're looking for the ultimate pizza adventure, when you crave a really serious pizza that brings the great Brew Pub experience, this is the one. Pick it up today at your favorite local grocer. Brew Pub Lata Matza Pizza, the ingredients for a great time. You are the first to rise, first to teach, to get your hands dirty and lend them. You're first to protect. As a hunter, being first is a big part of who you are. And we are first for you. The single most influential hunter's rights and conservation organization in the world. Join like your way of life depends on it. Since 1957, Meyer Buildings has offered full design and project management for your farm, equestrian, commercial, and storage building needs. Our recreational building line specializes in the design and construction of affordable, remote area buildings for the outdoorsman. This is my second Meyer building. I've been satisfied both times. Their design assistance, the quality of the construction, and their attention to detail is perfect. At Meyer Recreational Buildings, we offer custom building solutions for all of your building needs. Log on today for a better way to build. Big Bear Down. Whether you're looking for a sweet recipe for bear bait or quality bear scents, we've got you covered. Big Bear Down offers all their bait selections by the bag, the barrel, or in bulk. From crushed sugar cones, trail mix, and granola to our syrups, frostings, and bait toppings, we've got the variety to keep the most cautious bears coming back again and again. Big Bear Down scents can be used as an attractant or cover scent and draws bears in from miles around. Look for Big Bear Down by our distributing at two convenient Wisconsin locations or at a retailer near you. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by the W.C. Russell Moccasin Company and Golden Hawk Canoes. He's coming up right here. <laughs> All right, thanks, Tim. <laughs> look, at, look at these incredible walleyes coming out of this lake. This is Wacusco Lake in Wacusco Falls, Manitoba. We're up here fishing with our good friends, Brian and Alyssa Bogdan, and I tell you what, we just got into camp today. We came out this afternoon to see if we could catch some walleyes, and it has been non-stop activity, one right after the other. We put some really, really nice fish on the ice, and this is just another great example of what's here at Wacusco Lake. If you're interested in coming up to Northern Manitoba, Brian and Alyssa's information is on the bottom of the screen. Give them a call, you won't be disappointed. Folks, join us again here next week when we'll bring you more great hunting and fishing action from around the Midwest, around the nation, and around the world, right here on Outdoor Bound TV. Great fish. Put a double gob of chicken skin on this one. We'll get a bigger walleye this time. Barbless hooks come right out. And there you go. Put them back. And... Perfect. Success. <laughs> <laughs> They must really be biting if Wallback is catching them. I gotta thank Ron Serwa for coming over and hooking this one for me. <laughs>